time now for the women's compound semi-final the world championships here in Yankton, South Dakota in the USA. We are slap bang in the middle of the country, east to west, about 500 miles south of the Canadian border. Let's go down to the field of play for the introductions. Shooting on target number two, representing Mexico, Andrea Ventana. number 13, 25 year old Venom from India up against the world number 14, the 21 year old Andrea Pacera from Mexico. Uh, Nikki, uh, these two uh, had very different uh, appearances in the quarterfinals, a much stronger performance from the Indian. Yeah, we did see nerves coming from uh, Pacara, um, inconsistencies in her release, things like that. So Doty was solid all the way through, hanging on that hinge. Can she do it again? Time for the women's compound individual semi-final between Venom of India and Becerra of Mexico. Right Robbie Chanty Venom to shoot first. Surprise when that went off, but straight in the ten it went. The difference in technique. Jyoti just hanging on that back wall, using that hinge, looking solid again, like she was in the semi. for her to start this semi-final off. 29 for the maximum the character deck. She does look a little bit more stable than she did in the quarterfinals. Yeah, just settling down a little bit. Unlucky there, just out. You know, the grouping of her arrows there is not bad, just low left, just adjusting her sight. But two points dropped. Can she even get back into this match at this stage? Yeah, the Consistency of Josie Venom has been incredible, and when you weigh up against the pressure of uh, the country's weight, India's one billion population still waiting for an archery world championship title. It's incredible the pressure these Indian archers are under. It really is, but she doesn't look like she knows anything, you know, of that pressure at all. She's just doing a normal thing, looking solid. Very little movement in the shot at all. Sticking to her plan. Trying to keep her nerves in check and also trying to keep the heart rate down there by the looks of things. Just taking some deep breaths and staring off into space. Jyoti Venom of India leading this semi-final over Andrea Becerra of Mexico. Becerra will start in number two. She's just not happy with these shots at all. blemish but the shot looked good you know I didn't see any different move or anything there just went slightly out to the left yeah. I think that first arrow is going to be called up you know they've started already but 
It looks on the line to me. Well, okay. that will be one back for the care straight away. And that's if the pair of them continue to s stay back in the middle of the target. Yeah. Needs to stay calm here. Yeah. So 59 currently playing a 57, but Nikki, you think that's going to go up to a 58? It's so close, I would be surprised if it wasn't called up. So we've got to wait for the line judge. Go in and have a look. They need a magnifying glass that will look from both sides. Any part of that arrow is deemed to be within the line, it will be pulled up and go out, look close to me. We're here. Venom going through her process and just checking the veins of the arrows that have been returned from the first end. As we take a look back, that's the first arrow. Didn't look happy with it, as you said, but it does look very much like it's touching the line. That was, as you put it, the first blemish on the copy book for Toti Venom out into the lines, but both of them then going back into the centre of the target. So perfect for the carer in the second. She gets marked up to a 30 out of 30. And that means there is just one point between these two archers. A place in the gold medal match up for grabs for the winner. The loser will have to clear their minds and get back on the saddle to go into the bronze medal match. Advantage India at the moment. Becerra of Mexico will begin in number three. Slightly long hold, again just not breaking how she wants it to, just I think lacking a bit of confidence in that shot executing like she knows it can. Being counted down, they get 20 seconds to shoot. Narrow. Perfect aim. Center shot. Tight. Looks smooth and solid. Just holding on to that back wall. as long as she could it gets away with a 10 and 87 for her another chance for increasing lead and that's exactly what Venom does back into the 30s back into the perfect score and it's 89 plays 87 in favor of Jyoti Sareka Venom of India keep a bit of tension Starts to be, it looks like it's starting to creep back into the Mexicans' game. Yeah, she, you know, the whole time she's been out on this stage today, to me, she just hasn't looked confident. She hasn't been able to make the shot that she wants. Um, you know, she's shooting with a, a trigger. She's getting onto that back wall, hooking her thumb round. But there's, there's movement, there's tension. She doesn't look settled with it. And we've seen inconsistencies in the timing of the shot, so how long she spends at full draw before it goes off, for example. So. And then the, you know, the reaction afterwards, so quite different styles. Jyoti, solid, calm, relaxed, using that hinge. You can see a nice movement as she decides to start the execution process and she just stays on that back wall and trusts that it's going to break. Fantastic shooting. Well, the range is clear to safe to shoot. And we'll start in number four with Andrea Becerra of Mexico. 
who is trailing Jyoti Venom by two points, needs to start the fight back right now. Yeah, yeah, looked yeah. better, didn't it? Less movement. Happy with that. Got to do the same again. Great form. Needs to put the pressure back on Jyoti. Nine. Same place as the last error, so about 10 o'clock. So that's a, a balance or a pressure change, maybe. Same mistake. Capitalised on, though, by Becerra. That's all she can do. 117 after another perfect from her, her second of the match. Back into the 10 for Venom to minimise the damage. 118 plays 117. Venom still leading, but the fight back needed to begin in that fourth end for Becerra, and she's claimed one of the two point deficit that she faced. One more end to go here in this women's compound individual semi final. Well, the conditions couldn't be better, could they, Nikki? I mean, this this is what archers dream of if they're shooting uh, anywhere, but especially a world championship final. It really is. You know, the sun's not in their eyes so far. We're going to see that come in later today. Um, there's virtually no wind. I mean, it doesn't really get much better than this. What a contrast from the qualification round earlier in the week where I think it was 25 mile an hour gusts. These guys battle through just to, you know, get their ranking down to even get into the head-to-head. -head. So, big difference. Yep, we're on an open river plane here, so when the wind picks up, it really does pick up. But when it's still, well, look at it. Absolutely perfect conditions here. It's the women's compound individual semi-final. Andrea Becerra of Mexico needs to continue her comeback. Trailing by one against Jyoti Venom. Final end about to get underway. That's a good 10 as well. She's got to do everything she can now. She's got to have three tens to put the pressure back on Jyoti, who's led this from the start. Slight wobble, longer hold again. Just inside. More solid throughout. So it's all down to the final arrow here for Becerra. She's got to put this in the 10 to keep that pressure on. Didn't look happy, put it into the 9 for a 29, a 146 finish for the Mexican. A nine required for the win from Venom. There it is, another perfect score, her third of the match. And Jyoti Venom of India has scored a 148, dropping just two points in her semi-final. And she will go on to contest the gold medal here in Yankton, trying to claim India's very first world archery title. Bakera, well, she looked wobbly and nervous she made it through her quarterfinal it wasn't quite enough in the tank to make it through against venom becara though will come back out onto the range here to shoot for the bronze medal that coming up very shortly venom going on to the gold medal match <laughs>